Hey everyone, and welcome to our boho bridal edition with myself, Desi the Diva, and my lovely long hair, beautiful model. We're so excited to be with you guys tonight. I'm gonna show you guys some awesome, awesome trick tricks, and I'm gonna be using the Babyliss Pro one and a quarter inch iron from the GT line. How pretty is that? So we're gonna start off by brushing her out, prepping her hair. Of course, turn around so they can see all of this long hair that you have. And we're gonna jump right in with this just because you guys already see the Rapunzel vibes. Hair majesty. The hair, yeah. So I'm gonna start off by sectioning her. I'm gonna turn her around and I'm gonna determine what pieces I want to frame her face. So that's gonna be the first step. And because this is a bohemian style look, it's gonna be a very loose look, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pre-curl everything. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to transform this hairstyle in a very, very easy, easy way, but make it look so intricate that people are gonna say, wow, how did you even do that? Right? Yes. <laughs> Goals. Goals. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and section these out just because it's important to do this. If you don't, you'll totally forget to leave the pieces out and then you'll go ahead and style with them in and go back and have to try to pull the hair back out. So I don't wanna mess up the beautiful makeup. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my duck bill clip and section the hair out of the way. Yeah, no, I guess this is good enough. Just tell me like if it's too on your face. Oh no, you're fine. Okay, and Ashley's gonna be looking at the questions because I can't see. You yes. guys let me know if you guys can see everything and if you have any questions because I will definitely be excited to answer those. So I'm gonna turn her around and I'm gonna start where the volume is in the crown section. So right now she just has some oil in her hair just because it's gonna help when I go through and I add the texture, it's gonna help it to slide and plus she needs the oil for her hair to look nice and shiny. So I'm gonna go ahead, use my two fingers and I'm gonna carve out, bring your head back, the crown section. So this'll be where my volume is gonna go. There's no way to part this. You can just do it organically and you're just gonna take the hair and this is pretty much how I start most of my bridal styles. And if you go on my page at Desi the Diva, you will see and recognize like the bumps and where the partings are. So I'm gonna click this out of the way and then I'm gonna to begin to section and clip the sides out of the way. So when I say the sides, I have to turn it. And you guys let me know like if you can't see or if you need to see better. So I'm gonna go behind the ear and I'm gonna make sure that her, her parting is at a curve. So you never really wanna part the hair with just a straight line because the hair, the head is more it's round, so the parting looks better when it's curved. So I'm just gonna do the same sectioning on the opposite side. And what did you put in your hair before you came? Anything? Um, I put just like you oil. Oh, okay. Um, and I just, just like detangler. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna gather it and I'm just gonna block off this section because I'm gonna start working in the crown area. So because her hair is long and she's a mermaid, I'm gonna to have to <laughs> do a little braid and get this out of the way. Which I'm gonna put a clip at the bottom and just make sure that it's away from here. So I'm gonna to begin to work here. Now remember, this is an organic bohemian looking style. So the curl should A, not be tight, B, look so perfect, and C, you should not have to part them. 
And also, you don't have to clip the curls like I would normally teach you guys. Because when you clip them, they allow them to set, which make them look way more set and perfect. So for this style, everything is gonna be loose, flowy, and put together. And with this particular style, you never have to worry about it collapsing, falling apart, or falling in the humidity. So I live here in Houston, Texas. We both live here in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. And the humidity is what, no joke? No joke. No joke. So I'm gonna start off with some hairspray, and you can use any hairspray that you like. And when you're spraying the hairspray, you never wanna get all crazy like this. Cause that, that's just not what you do. You're gonna go and spray in the direction of how you want the hair to lay. Always brushing from the bottom and working your way up to the top. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little bit of texture at the top. Now, her hair luckily is extremely thick. If the hair was fine, then what you can do is you can either crimp the top to get that volume or you can use my BFF dry shampoo. Preferably, you wanna spend some money in the dry shampoo of your choice and get a professional one so that it does not turn white around the head or in the hair. So without any particular parting, I'm gonna start by just getting an organic section and I'm just gonna curl maybe to here, okay? This is only for the general shape. And I'm using 395 as my heat, and I'm just gonna curl it on base. So this is gonna create a nice shape and a nice movement. Well, it's gonna look like it has that flowiness to it. And this is gonna go towards the bottom so we don't have to waste all of our time curling all of this and spending all day when you could be just doing the parts that you need to and moving on and making more money, right? Because we don't want to be stuck there for 24 hours. Because actually has long hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so we have best hairspray that helps curls stay all day long in the heat. Best hairspray. You know what? Bring your head back. <sighs> it's kind of hard because I work with a lot of hairsprays, but Hmm, Kenra has good hairspray, but you know what I've been on lately is the bed head. The silver can, that stuff is super bomb. Like, it really works like really well. But I ran out, so I would normally have it with me, but I don't have it. So you can use that one. Um, ooh, Sexy Hair has really good hairspray too. So as long as it says humidity resistant, then it'll be fine. And also, I never work with like a weak spray, like a soft hairspray, because why? I don't want my hairstyle to collapse. So I'm gonna always work with a hard hold. So I'm just doing this, the curls right here, because all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them into my volume section. So I'm just gonna curl a few more pieces and I'm gonna go in another direction. So as you can see, all of my um, curl directions are organic and all of my partings. So I'm just gonna roll the hair and I'm gonna make sure that it bakes onto my iron. Kate Kentner said sexy hair makes a product called Weatherproof that locks out humidity at the end of your style. Hmm, didn't know that. See? Uh, it says, what does the dry shampoo do? Okay, so dry shampoo does a couple of things. I mean, obviously, if you've had a night on the town, ladies or gentlemen, dry shampoo is gonna get all that uh, party smell off of you. But if you have a hair, if you have a head with very fine hair or oily hair, it's gonna give great volume. It's gonna refresh the hair, and then also it's going to give you some good texture as well. So it can actually make your hair a lot bigger than uh, normal, than not having the dry shampoo. So again, we're just curling right here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get natural volume. Now, usually I would backcomb her, but because her hair is so thick, I don't need to backcomb her. It 
says love that iron, what size is it? Uh, this is the one and a quarter. This is the graphite titanium iron. And I love it because it makes like really good beachy waves on it. Um, I didn't have time to do my hair today since this was a boho look. I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna look kind of organic with it because usually I look like a whole diva. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what? It's more chill vibes today. So I wanted to do something that wasn't so dressed up like I usually am. Ashley Boy's hair said hello. Um, I love this. I'm so excited to see what you create. Oh, girl, you need to stay tuned because watch. This is, this is like moving in slow motion because once I get this part, and I start tapping the bottoms, you guys will start to see like some really cool detail. Trust me, it's gonna be a bomb style. And I say bomb because I'm from LA. So where are you guys from? It says, where can I buy it? You can buy this at Armstrong McCall or Cosmoprof. Um, I would say, you know, when you see us at the shows, my little hearts, I miss the shows. But yeah, you can buy them at, um, I wanna say they're available at Ooh, I don't want to say the wrong thing. Kate, jump in and help. If you're there or if anybody else is on and they know where we can, bring your head back, and they know where we can get the GT set, can you guys please chime in? Because I don't want to like direct um, them into the wrong place. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just kind of gathering this together and I'm gonna twist it. Bring your head, yeah, back. There you go. Now, I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm gonna do the pinch and pull. So I'm gonna just, there's no right or wrong. I'm just gonna pinch and pull where I see fit. I'm gonna take my hairspray and I'm gonna kinda piece it out a little bit Take my bobby pin. Now make sure that you guys invest in your bobby pins. Do not go buy those thousand, thousand for a dollar bobby pins because the hair will not hold. And I'm just gonna open it and I'm gonna pinch and pull a little bit. Now later I can go back and I can make more texture if I need to. So I'm gonna double pin this. Now one of the tricks that I use to making sure my hairstyles stay, which I don't show my clients because I don't want them to freak out. But one of the tricks I do is I'll do this. I'll spray where my bobby pins are. But wait, there's more. I'm gonna take my iron and tap it. So that locks it in when I'm doing my brides, my quinceañeras, whoever, it's gonna make it stay right there. So now, I'm gonna continue, this curl goes this way, so I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring her this way. It so, says, uh, where did you get your belt on your hip from? Um, I, was, I thought I, I was wearing my fanny pack. I got this <laughs> from um, Amazon. Okay, bring your head back. back. So just organically seeing where it falls, but you see how the curling iron allowed to take it in the direction it needed to go? And you can always look back and see where you need to pull from and where the holes are to uh, fill in those spaces. So now I'm gonna just do another pinch and pull. And I love this technique just because you can use it for so many different things. Like you can use it for buns, you can use it for just regular curls. There's so many ways that you can uh, use this pinch and pull like method and it creates such beautiful texture. And I can always go back and take pins and put these together and set those, but we'll leave that, that like this for now. Of course, I'm gonna use my hairspray, just kind of detail a little bit. Which pins do you buy? Um, do I have my, I use the salon care ones from Sally's. They're like a thousand in a box or something for $7. I don't go buy the big fancy ones because I feel like they're just really expensive and I try to keep my cost down and I've never had an issue with these uh, bobby pins. Yeah, any questions you guys send in my way, like I'm loving the questions. 
So that means that we're not having a boring time because we're really into it. So again, opening my bobby pin. And it's really important if you're a hair magician, I mean, it's fine, but if you're not so good with doing the styling, then get the bobby pins that match the hair color. Because say if I had to like uh, do um, like an impromptu or something and I had blonde, I'd have to really find a way to be a magician and hide these, but because they match, it's so much better. So here's the final part on the crown section and I'm just gonna twist it, do my pinch and pull. And this is basically like wherever you think it looks pretty, then put it there. This is where you can be creative and where you can use your best judgment. Is that comfortable? Yeah. Okay. So spraying, can you guys see very good? Like, is anybody missing anything or do I need to turn anything? Just let me know. So now, because I have Ashley reading it, so she can tell me. So now what I'm gonna do is on the end right here, I'm gonna save time because time is what? Money. Money. So, oh my gosh. We were supposed <laughs> to do the dance, but we're not gonna do it. <laughs> not gonna do it on Instagram Live. Okay, so I'm a big product queen because of course humidity and I mean, why else wouldn't I? I want my hairstyle to last. So I always spray before I curl and as I curl if I need to. So I'm gonna curl just this side inwards. And this is gonna give a more flowy, kind of polished look, but it's gonna make the hairstyle come out that much more prettier. So I'm just wrapping it, just doing a traditional flat wrap curling technique. It's very loose and that kind of looks quinceanera, but it's okay. I promise <laughs> we're gonna get there. This is not what the quince curls. Yes. Girl, you know the quinceaneras, oh my gosh, they're starting to want like bridal styles. They don't even wanna look like quince girls no more. Yeah. I get so many of the girls who are like, oh, they want this. Yeah, I want this style. It's like a high bun, something bridal. I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. Whatever you like. <laughs> All right, so here's the last and final curl for this side. And don't worry about the bobby pins because we're totally going to like cover those up. So any questions so far? Any comments? Wherever this is at, I live in on the full table. Oh yeah, it's in the clubhouse where I live, guys. So you guys are really special to me. So I kicked everyone out and I was like, okay, I have a live, so y'all need to leave and uh, give up the room. And they were like, okay, it was some guy, so they didn't care. They're just like, okay. okay. <laughs> Probably if we were guys, if we were the barbers, they would have been like, okay, bro, totally yeah. not leaving. Okay, so I'm using the graphite titanium one and a quarter curling iron. Notice that the hair is not sticking to the iron. It's just still staying shiny. It doesn't like steam. It's not all crunchy, dirty, disgusting. I mean, that's just the Babyliss Pro way, so I wouldn't expect anything else from our tools. No, just kidding. Not kidding. Not okay, kidding. so so we're just organically curling this. Flat wrap, traditional barrel curling iron. It Girl. says, how do you know the width to separate the hair before curling? How do I know the width? To separate, separate the hair before curling. I'm guessing like parting. Oh, like okay. So I got I got them. Okay, so rule of thumb, you can never go wrong. The parting should never be thicker than the barrel. So the barrel is like I'm gonna like burn myself trying to demonstrate. So the barrel is this 
this width. So your party should not exceed. It shouldn't be like this if it's like this. I mean, that's the general rule, but once you learn the rules and you learn how to do it, you'll be able to break them. So right now I'm like using this whole section, but that's because this is not a down style. I would never ever curl anyone's hair like this for a down style. Cause notice the curls are long and dragged out. Like it's not cute to like have these long, but for this particular style, I'm gonna curl it like this. Not only does it save time, but it's gonna help with the style. So this is what we have so far. They're just long curls, right? So I'm just gonna go through it just loosely and it's not a big deal. These curls are not meant to stay down because they're not and then actually I'm gonna hit this in one big curl because it's such a small section. So I'm gonna spray her. Is there hair in your face? You okay. Yeah, I'm good, I'm not bothered. Okay, not bothered. Not bothered. <laughs> okay. Oh no, that's how I always curl my hair. What, the long way? No, don't curl it the long way. No, you gotta do smaller sections. I take it that you didn't tune in to my Instagram live for the 3D curls. If you did, well actually I didn't save it because I didn't have enough memory on my phone. Everybody was like, why don't you save the live? I'm like, I'm trying, but I can't. Okay. So then we have the very last piece on this side. And we're gonna curl that all in one piece and then we're gonna begin to see where the fun part begins, which is with the rubber band. So with this particular style, she has dark hair, so I'm gonna use the black or the dark brown rubber bands. So this is literally gonna be a rubber band style from now until the end of her, uh, her hairstyle. We're just gonna be using rubber bands. I'm gonna put the iron away until the end where I curl the face framing pieces. Do you have any information on coloring or clone? Um, you know what, we do an array of lives. So yes, we do have uh, people that color on our team. So you would just have to contact the Babelist page and kind of find out because I don't do color, I just do styling. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some, I want you to hand me these. I'll just like, oh, okay. Okay, so here's the magic. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay. <laughs> So the first piece I'm going to do, and there's no particular order, but you can't start down here. You have to start at the top and work your way. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of techniques and we just are going to grab the hair, twist it, and I'm going to clip it because I have to go on the other side and grab an equal amount of hair twisted or twist it and meet it on the other side. So just with my fingers, just with my hands, I'm just organically grabbing it, twisting it, and I'm going to take an elastic and I'm gonna tie these two babies together. So let me know if you guys can see or if you need me to do the camera a little bit different. So this is for you guys. So I'm gonna take the elastic and I'm not gonna make it really tight, okay? And the reason why I'm not gonna make it tight is because I'm gonna have to go back and I'm gonna have to pinch and pull the section. So we have a rubber band and that looks ugly, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna pinch the hair and pull it out some. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So now it looks like this. There's a big jump right here, but that's why your bobby pin friend is gonna help you out. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna leave her right here. 
I'm so used to having something. And I'm going to get another section of hair. So whenever I grab on one side, I have to be sure to grab on the other side. Now here's where you can get really creative. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a knot and I'm gonna show you how to expand that knot. So grabbing the hair and you're like doing it in a knot, but watch this. So I'm gonna make a knot in her hair and right underneath that knot is where I'm gonna rubber band it, which would be right here. So I'm gonna take an elastic. If I can get it. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna take an elastic and I'm not gonna over direct it, I'm gonna just kinda of keep it here, go underneath her knot. And I'm not going to do this really tight because, again, we have to be able to expand the style. So it looks funny, right? So now I'm going to go and I'm going to expand that knot. Now, when I told you guys, oh, the hairstyle is not going to collapse, it's not going to fall down. Now are you guys starting to believe me? Yes? Can I get some hearts? Yes, we're getting hearts. I said, love this technique. This is so beautiful. Thumbs up. That's so nice. Thank you. So this is where we're going with it, right? But wait, there's more. I feel like such a showman, but wait, there's more. Okay, so now you can really start getting funky with it and you can do like a brick layer pattern. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two guys and I'm gonna do a mini version of what I did in the center. So I'm gonna twist this this way. I'm gonna twist this this way and I'm going to gather them together, grab my handy dandy elastic. Can you tell I used to watch, um, wait, is it Blue's Clues? Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Thanks. Such a big show. ass child. Okay. So I'm going to grab my handy dandy elastic, and now I'm going to pinch and pull here which is going to result in that, okay? Now, if you ever make a mistake and you find that you've expanded it, expanded it too much, don't trip because you can go back and make it tighter, okay? It's just an elastic. So at the end, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna pull out to see how much I have left and how much I can play around with. So because I did one on this side, I'm gonna come on this side and I'm gonna kind of bring it over a little bit because you don't want to have the hairstyling, the hairstyle to protrude over here because that's just gonna look weird. So I'm gonna gather it, split it in half, and I'm gonna twist it to the center. Now you can do whatever you want. Sometimes I'll twist it the opposite side, but for this one, I'm gonna twist it to the center. And you can do like a pattern. So if you want to do like the twist and then the knot and then the twist, you could totally do that. If you want to add like a braid on the side as your first piece, you can do that as well. And this style is really good. Like if you ever come across like those little girls who have hair all the way down here, you could totally do this in like 15 minutes. But because I'm teaching it, it's going to take me much longer. So this is like one of my favorite styles because people are so wowed by this, but you guys can see how incredibly easy it is. So even if I just wanted to leave it down like this and gather it and make a pretty fish fishtail, I can. But because we're not basic today, we're gonna go mm -hmm. ahead and do the whole shebang. So if, if you're dandy just, dandy huh? Dandy dandy oh yeah, who said that? Uh, Kate. Kate. Oh, Kate. That's funny because she gets the reference. That's funny. Yeah. I like Kate. Okay. It says, love being versatility. Yes. It says, will you save this life? Yes. Yeah, so I just cleaned out my, um, my cell phone memory storage. So I'm going to try to do it. I promise. I'm going to try. It, let's see if it'll let me. So now I'm just going to grab from like the back and I'm going to bring it forward. 
So the idea is to kind of cover up and if she has little hairs, let them be because I'm going to take the graphite uh, curling iron and I'm going to go back and I'm going to curl those little pieces that are left out. So now I'll show you guys what it looks like when you twist it the other way. So yes, this hairstyle is very versatile. And if you can uh, put a hair vine, which I did bring some hair jewelry. So you could put a hair vine or you could put flowers. You could actually anchor this hairstyle to the side and she can have it like, I know like I'm kind of like short here, but <laughs> she can have it like cascade. Let me have a, a thing. She can have it um, cascade to the side and it'll look super pretty too. And then you guys will make so much money like learning how to like doing these styles because people think that up styling and special occasion, occasion styling is hard to do, but it's really not. Like if you break it down with like the sectioning, the parting, uh, the way that you curl the hair, the way that you uh, prep the hair, pin it, everything, it's not as hard as you think. I mean, I think color is like so scientific and difficult. So, how did you become a bridal specialist? Oh, good question. So in beauty school, I, okay, so long story short, I started off as a barber. Can you believe it? Yes, I did, okay? I liked it, I loved it. Then I found out that there was this thing called an updo. And once I saw people doing these updos, I was like, holy bleep. bleep. I need to learn how to do these updos. So. I was like, dude, I'm fascinated. So I just started to um, to watch the videos. Like I would just buy like, like while I was in school, I would just buy like hair hairstyling videos or go on YouTube and um, I'm gonna do a knot right here. I would go on YouTube and just any education. So I would practice. And then the next thing you know it, like when I was in school, I would run to my educators and show them these like, super whack ass like updos that I was doing and I thought that they were the bee's knees but I had to like keep practicing and then eventually I got pretty decent enough to where like my hairstyles weren't falling and it was staying and I kind of got it you know pretty good so I ran into someone who was doing weddings and at this point I'm still a student but she was doing weddings and I met her while I was working in a place that was similar to Ulta while I was in beauty school. And I was like, oh, so, you know, you're a, you're a bridal hair and makeup, you know, stylist and you do weddings. She's like, yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, it's my dream to do updos and I love it. And so she's like, really? Well, I'll tell you what, do you have any pictures? I was like, yeah. So when I was in school, uh, I was already building my portfolio and taking it serious. So... Uh, she tried me out and a couple of times it, I sucked and I was very coachable. I would learn and I would practice and then I just learned the wedding industry and then I just kept going. And it's crazy because people will look at me and say, oh, you make money just curling hair. Like, uh, no, I don't just curl hair, sweetie. Like there's a whole science with curling hair, like the direction of the curls matter. The way you part the hair matters, the way you prep, the way you design, the way that you finish, the way that you pin it, the way that you set it, everything matters. So it's not just curling or styling hair. And they say, oh, well, how did you build a career by just doing that? Like, it really is a science. It really is just like, how do you build a career cutting people's hair or anything else? It's a niche. There's a lot of people who don't like to stand around and do stuff like this, you know, but there's a lot of people who love to do stuff like this, who love to style hair and who love to curl and pin and, you know, do avant-garde hairstyling. And I'm just one of those people and I haven't picked up a, a shear or a color brush to make money in I don't know how long, I just don't. And I stay true to what it is that I wanted to do and I built my career off of it. and. Not to toot my horn, but I think I'm pretty good at it. I mean, you know. It says we are magicians. Beautiful, great response. Oh, thank you. Yes, and hell yes, I make money curling hair. I own that. Really? Kate. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Kate is a total badass. I mean, yeah, it's not just cutting hair, coloring hair. Um, what's the other one? Curling hair. No, it's more to it. Because I'm going to give you guys some free game. You can curl, cut, and color all you want to. But if you don't have great customer service skills, people skills, you're not going to retain any clients. And if you don't retain any clients, guess what? Those pockets are dry. Oh my gosh. And guess what? <laughs> Word gets around and says, oh, don't go with Desi the Diva because her hairstyles fall. Or don't go with Desi the Diva because she's always late. Don't go with Desi the Diva because she thinks she's all that. She doesn't deliver results. She doesn't make me feel like I'm the only girl in the world. She doesn't make me think that or yeah, make me look yeah, my best. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't matter if you can, you know, do a whole bunch of stuff. If you don't have people skills, then, you know, you're not going to be successful anyway, no matter how good you are. So as you have to know the texture. It's not just curling style. Where do you go to get clients? Toot toot, baby girl. Yes, baby. That's 100. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Clients. How do I get clients? Uh, I get clients. So, okay, so honestly, I started building my professional, um, well, not professional anything. I started on Facebook, to be honest. I would add myself to a lot of Facebook groups, advertise there for free 99. And then I started working with a lot of, yeah, I started working with a lot of uh, local makeup artists and we would just tag each other. And then I started working with a lot of uh, Houston pr photographers and saying, hey, just throwing myself out there like, hey, um, I want to build my portfolio. If you ever need hair or, you know, somebody to, to help on your photo shoots, I would love to do that. So in exchange for the images, um, you know, I would work on the hair and that built my portfolio where I was given like bigger opportunities to do more. Um, you know, as I built my portfolio and then the clientele came. So I would always like look up Houston makeup artists, uh, just different um, beauty professionals in my area. I did a lot of stuff for free guys before I got paid. I've worked hair shows for free. I've driven through thunderstorms because I'm passionate AF. So I've done a ton of free stuff before I even got a dollar in my pocket. But I did it because it's something I wanted to do and I was really determined and my career took off very early. Like I was, you know, I've only been doing this for six years now, but I've accomplished a lot of things because I've stayed persistent, consistent, positive, and I just stayed true to what I like to do and I didn't follow the trend because everybody thinks that barbering is so trendy so I want to do that now and I'm jumping from niche to niche instead of staying true to what I really like. Because if you're passionate, then it's not gonna matter. You're gonna do the work. So, so I was just- great ideas, building your brand. I love this book for sure. Uh, and Sykes the Barber said, me and my daughter are watching this and I told her I'm gonna try this one day. Not a Cosmo, that's my wife, but I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah, no, you don't have to be a Cosmo. Look, I'm gonna show you. Look at this beautiful style, dude. How bomb is that? And all I did was do the loose curls with all elastics. So she can move this around and it's not gonna matter because guess what? It's gonna stay. And it looks like I did this whole intricate style. But all you do is make sure you have the right tools, obviously investing in good tools, products. I mean, insert your favorite brand here. I don't represent any brand line. <laughs> and then boom, the technique that I just showed you, marry them all together and you have fabulous hair. So now I'm gonna go ahead and curl. This is what it's looking like from the front, okay? So if she wants to, I'm gonna curl these pieces in random order, but as we can see, there's a little bit of a dip right here. So that's why standing back looking at all angles and checking to see where you need to fine tune your style is very important. So now I can just kind of pinch and pull. Is that comfy? Are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. I can pinch and pull and like manipulate where I need to, but because this is a boho style, it's fine. It's supposed to look like a done, undone look. So 
So because these are face framing, I'm gonna spray these and these are not secured by elastic. What I like to do is just gently lay the hair onto my hand. What that does is it allows me to spray the hairspray, but also I'm not spraying onto this beautiful flawless face. So I'm gonna take my hairspray and I'm not gonna spray right here. I'm gonna come back out here and always brushing my products through. I'm so happy that you're here to read the comments because I know, right? I probably wouldn't respond. I'll just be like, <laughs> it says, um, invested so beautiful. Would you save this video? It's so beautiful. OMG, your model is hard. <laughs> Thank you. Who said that? Oh, oh, Kate. Is that my bro, Richie? Okay, here's another thing. This freaks people out. So, because we're hairstylists, so we know, but this noise by the ear, that freaks people out. So what I always do is I say, okay, I'm gonna curl by your ear. So now she's expecting it, and she's not like, oh crap, when you curl by the ear. So I'm gonna curl by your ear. Don't you wanna hear me say that? And I'm just gonna curl this to the front, okay? because it's gonna probably naturally fall to the front anyway and it just looks prettier. So this, I'm gonna curl in random directions, okay? Because that's gonna give that natural variation. She's not going to the prom. I know she looks young enough to go to the prom, but she's I know. not. I mean, I know she just turned 18. Right? You're 18 and I'm 21. Right? So. We're just gonna call it that. We're just gonna call it that. Because we both look like we're doing this. Okay. So. It says, or they feel that warmth and they pull away. You already feel the what? Oh, well, they were saying, like, why you tell them that you're about to um, curl next to the face. Uh -huh. It's because they feel the warmth and then they start to pull away. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they can freak out because I've had, and especially like, some clients have been burnt before because non-professional stylists or people who just didn't know what they're doing or maybe they just had a sleight of hand and they slipped up and just accidentally, you know, burnt them, I guess. I've never burned anyone. I always burn myself. But, um, you know, they're probably like knowing that it's coming, so they're afraid. So this piece... You never want to curl this all in one direction because then you have those like Father John like curlies. I don't know. I don't want to be politically incorrect, but you guys know what I'm talking about where they're all like one direction and it looks like terrible. So, and I'm going to show you how to clean these curls up because even though this is a boho style, it can still look clean without it looking perfect. So this piece is, uh, is made to go away from the face, but I'm gonna curl it up, okay? And in curling it up, it's gonna allow it to fan out really beautifully. So I'm just rotating the iron really nicely, faking the hair in, and because I curled it up, I can take it and kind of have it draped by her face. So now that I have her curls, I'm gonna hairspray them. And I can kind of put them back together. And if you notice, there's kind of a parting here. So all I have to do is just take my nails or brush and clean it up. So I have the talons, so I like to use those. And this is this side. So now we're gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. So are you guys enjoying this hairstyle? Do you guys feel like you can accomplish this? Tilt your head. Do you guys feel like I explained it easy, that you understand? Or is there any other like styling question you have or like product usage question, like I'm down to answer those. We have a bunch of love, some heart faces. Yay. Jay said hello. Which Jay? Hey, what's up, 
J. Oh wait, here's my hairspray. So layering the hairspray in the direction. I know, I got so many of them. Baby hairs is like a whole vibe, a whole trend right now. It is. I'm like, y'all so late. LA uh -huh. girls have been gelling our baby down, yeah. hairs all our life, sis. It is not a new trend. <laughs> Just saying. LA and New York. Yeah. All right. So for those of you guys or girls just tuning in, I'm using the GT Graphite Titanium one and a quarter inch long hair barrel by, no, I'm just kidding, by Baby Moose Pro. I knew it, I was just gonna say a joke, but I was like, that's how funny it is, Marie. So no hairstyle is complete without hair jewelry. So I'm gonna show you guys. I brought some, like a little vine. Okay, so go to the front. Or we can whisk you around. Yes. Princess Jasmine. Yes. Okay. So remember how I said curling it up? You have that like face framing fan. Like it kind of like does one of these. That's because of the direction that I curled it. So I created that. So this is the look. Now for the final final piece is you always want to put shine spray you can put hairspray but the shine spray is going to make it look spectacular okay so i'm going to go back and i'm going to shine spray her now i'm sure you can see a difference so in order to make this a little bit more organic i can take this with the looser tension only and back comb the bottom because I already have that very loose curl. This is gonna make it look even more boho. And I can just tighten it up and I can expand it as I want to, but I think that this looks good. What do you guys think? Name of the shine spray? Um, this, this shine spray is the Beyond Shine by Aquash, but feel free to use whatever brand you want to. Just as long as it's, you know, preferably a professional brand, but... Oh, and I twisted this before I got here. Okay, I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, boom. So here is a vine. Now, the trick with these vines is that they tangle very, very easy in the hair. So you have to like methodically place this where it should live because if not you're gonna pull all these hairs out okay so most of these guys have a little loop and a lot of the times they want it to go around here which i think is beautiful and this will probably live just like that but you can also take it and put it on top of the braid which will look phenomenal so i think i may just do that and let it cascade i don't know what do you guys think should we put it like this or should i bring it and drape it this way tell me or otherwise i'm just going to do what i think i should do so now i'm just going to take the bobby pin okay and i'm going to do like a weird thing i'm going to weave it into the place because that's going to lock it in place long the long way okay so it'll look really dumb if I start it right here. So I'm gonna kind of start it off to the side. And this allows me also to uh, cover some of this little area here. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna open up where um, one of her twists and I'm gonna over direct it. So I'm gonna kind of dance it back and forth. Is that comfy? Yeah. Okay. And always check to see if your girl is comfy because sometimes you might be stabbing her and you don't even know. Okay, so opening this up, and you can actually kind of intertwine it. I feel like you should wear this today. Right? Like your hairstyle, because it's so bomb. Okay, so you can kind of intertwine it into the hair, or you can braid it along with the style. It's really up to you, and I mean, if you're, bride or whoever they don't care they trust you i mean use your best judgment if you want to braid it in 
And if you're just joining us, I'm Desi the Diva, and I hope you guys follow me. I have Instagram, I have a huge Pinterest platform, um, and I have Facebook, but I live here on Instagram. Okay, so we're just gonna make it look really pretty. And it's even better because this is gonna lock into place, so it ain't gonna fall nowhere. She's gonna work it, twerk it, and it'll be fine. Because they do twerk it at their weddings, right? Yeah. I mean, some of my brides are really, like, off the chain. So <laughs> they're like, no, don't put on that country shit. I want to hear some Cardi B. So oh. I'm like, so I'm like, all right, bet, I got you. Because I come in there trying to be all like, hi, guys. Yes. Like, <laughs> So what are we doing today? And they're like, no, sis, we need to listen to, to some uh, twerk music. Like, we don't want to listen. Yeah. You said, yes, yeah, so Megan the Stallion. I don't know. That's how we do it in the South, so. All right, so now I'm going to make this little baby disappear. And just because I don't know, I want to be extra safe, I'm just going to take another bobby, go to the loop, and I'm just going to find a little place for it to disappear into. Making sure that we don't see that bobby pin. So how does that look? I think that looks super pretty. I mean, yeah, like I don't know. Hard. Okay, will you stand up for me? Yeah. Okay. So you can see the whole situation. It's a whole vibe. Okay, so come close to the light. Wait. There you go. Bring your head back. And then I'm gonna. Like, I have to pose her. I know. I love it. So you, can guys, so you guys can get a really nice view of where we put the volume, how it looks, side looks, and give them like some looks. This is how much would you charge for this? Um, it depends if I'm doing, and then she can rest it on her shoulder. Yes. Uh, I would probably charge, it depends. If she was my real life client, well, I charge 150 for bridal hairstyles, or, well, yeah, I charge 150 for it. But if it's just like regular and it's easy, like which it is, but if it's not a bridal because bridal you have to do so many more details, then I would, if it was just a regular client, probably just 85. Because look how simple it was to do. But because my bride needs a lot of attention, I have to give it to her, and that's just what it is. So. I just want to thank you guys and girls for watching us, for having us. Make sure you follow Desi the Diva on Instagram. If you're not following Babelis, click the follow button. I'm so excited that you guys were here. You guys interacted. You love my style. I'm going to try to save this if I can. If not, <laughs> I will do another tutorial. And for the giveaway, because I almost forgot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For the giveaway. Okay. I'm not going to do it the last time the way that I did it. What I want you guys to do is whoever re goes back and does this style, whoever does it first and it looks pretty good will be the giveaway winner. So make sure you tag myself and Babelis Pro, Babelis Pro in your style. So if you want to win one of our fabulous tools like the one that I used here, make sure that you recreate this style something similar using the techniques that I've showed you and you will definitely be one of the ones to be considered to win the giveaway. Thank you guys for your time. I will see you on my page. Bye.